Okay, now into more serious business. Elemental water makers. We have Sid Balterbrecht. Volbrecht. Thanks. <laughs> All right. I'm very, very sorry, guys. I'm very, very sorry. Pierre, where are you? I'm not stripping for money tonight. I am feeling a little bit dirty, though, because, to be honest, this is my second pitch today already. However, this is for a room full of people who stayed till the end to see me pitch. So thank you for that. My name is Sid Vollebrecht. I'm co-founder, commercial director, call it CEO of Elemental Watermakers, which is a spin-off of the University of Technology in Delft in the Netherlands. Elemental Watermakers provides renewable-driven desalination systems for affordable freshwater production. Why would we do this? Well, hey, there's a big, there's a big opportunity here. Warm regions with limited freshwater resources are forced to use desalination to get access to fresh water. Reverse osmosis is the preferred technology to do this. And reverse osmosis is a very electricity intensive process. This means if electricity is expensive, reverse osmosis is expensive. And water is expensive. So, an obvious next step, renewable energy and reverse osmosis. However, there's a barrier there. Reverse osmosis is designed for constant and continuous operation, while renewable energy, sun and wind, fluctuate over time. This is the reason why existing solutions use batteries, and they're quite expensive, in the range of two to four cents uh, per gallon. We at Elemental Water Makers have come up with a solution for this problem. We can supply water at one cent per gallon through constant and energy efficient operation with minimized maintenance and without the use of batteries. The system uses mature technologies and is scalable from 1,000 gallons per day up to 300,000 gallons per day. The system doesn't use any fossil fuels, which means it's eco-friendly and it's suitable for standalone operation. So, next step, for whom is this interesting? Well, we focus on islands and on hotels. Islands such as Hawaii, such as the Virgin Islands, have high electricity costs. Hotels are forced to pay higher water tariffs than domestic users. So that's hotels. Let's take a look at the expenditure of an uh, average island hotel. Water is responsible for 7 up to 14% of their costs. I know this because I've talked with 200 hotels. If we can save them 43 to 72%, huh? if we can do that, we can save them 3 to 10% on their average operational expenditure, which is quite a lot. In the future, though, we also want to supply large systems to whole municipalities, so for example, Barcelona, or the remote areas in Asia and Africa. Let's go back to the number 43 to 72. This is the worst case and the best case scenario. We start in Lanzarote, which is an island, one of the Canary Islands in Spain, and the first option for a hotel is to use the municipal water supply from Canal de Gestion. They pay 1.5 cents per gallon. The second option, the, the vertical axis, is showing dollars. Um, but yeah, you, you get it. So the, the second option is buying a conventional driven reverse osmosis system. So there's upfront costs, and then the operational costs are mainly determined by the electricity price, which is 20 cents per kilowatt hour on Lanzarote. And then, there we come. We have higher initial investment costs, but because of the limited operational cost, renewable energy, we can offer 43% savings. Second one, the US Virgin Islands, the same hold here, um, expect, except that water and energy is much more uh, expensive. So it's a payback time of three to four years. So how are we gonna do this? We have two different revenue models. The first one is selling a project, basically design, build, transfer, with local suppliers uh, to make them responsible for the maintenance. And the second one is a service model which is basically uh, a long-term contract for a certain amount of water per day, um, which doesn't require any upfront investments. All right, so we've had a successful field pilot in Indonesia. The system is ready for commercial implementation, and I'm looking at an investment of $250,000 to 
to demonstrate a system at the end user in the market to promote the system and to develop a water purchase agreement. I'm also looking for more early adapters and I would like to ask you to join me in solving freshwater scarcity using only the sea, sun, earth and wind. Thank you. Okay. I understand, Pierre, why you want to take your clothes off. It's, it's hot. <laughs> Question in the very back. Yo, uh, what do you do with the byproducts from the desalinization? Yeah. Uh, the byproducts, so the, basically the brine, which, to explain, reverse osmosis has two waste streams. One of them is the product water, which is the clean water, and the other stream contains the extra salts, which has been removed of the product water. It's called the brine flow, and the brine flow we dispose of as traditional in all the reverse osmosis in the world. There's different options, either you dispose of it in the sea, or you dispose of it in the ground, in a deep layer, or you use an evaporation pond and you can collect the salts. How much space does the apparatus actually take? Because on islands, as we know, real estate is a premium, so it's very expensive. It's a good point, uh, however, let me get my numbers straight. Uh, for a seawater system of 1,300 gallons per day, we require a uh, PV surface of approximately 60 square meters, which is basically the, the stage times four. So that is the solar area. The desalination skit itself is really, really small. It can, you can put it, it's, it's maybe four feet long, four feet high, and that's all the space it needs. Of course, I'm not the only one with the question, yeah. So you're looking for early adopters here in the US, so you're, you're, you're seeking government support or? No, no, no government support. We really look for uh, municipalities. Yeah, project, so. project. Municipalities is too large a scale. So we are looking for early adapters in the sense of very rich people like Richard Branson. Are you here? Uh, who wants to put his system could make it tonight. on his island, on Mosquito Island, for example. People like that who believe in a sustainable future uh, and are involved on island economies. So you're looking for the guy who has the biggest house on the island. That's the guy, okay. the, his, his fourth house, you know? Yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> Call me in a few years. Uh, um, If this system is so good, uh, what is the down, uh, what is, as you said, but what is the downside that people are not uh, giving you a lot of money or just a million or so? Which will the market is really tough. Everybody already has a solution in place and, and the water sector is very conservative. So a hotel, which is very risk reserve, he doesn't want to invest in a solution which pays itself back uh, in a period further than five years. So that is why I need to offer him a water purchase agreement. Uh, I have only had one system in the field, so how am I going to get project financing? I need more references in the field at the end user who can provide me with a yeah, positive reference, basically. <laughs> I really, I, I didn't explain how it worked, actually. I only said uh, the trick we solve. So basically what we do is we just couple fluctuating renewable energy to a constant operational reverse osmosis unit. And the only hint I can give away is that we don't use batteries. The rest is still in the process of being patented. And I can only tell you about it when we have an NDA signed. Is it a flywheel? <laughs> it's it's not uh, it's not a flywheel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you share it with your neighbors? Sorry? Never mind. <laughs> Anybody else? We got forty seconds on the clock. What's the, the bump? What's the the bump the bump in the green line? Good question. Uh, actually, we do. Um, there's some components which needs to be replaced, half time of the lifetime of the system. 
for example, the pump, which, yeah, because of the salt water, you need to replace some parts. So we have uh, scheduled a half maintenance. All right. Going once, going twice. Elemental water makers. Said, nice job. Thanks. Thank you.